Hi and welcome back to Down the Shed. In this episode we're going to build this sound to light spectrum analyzer. One two, one two, bang bang, whoop whoop. This uh, was going great guns at the festival at the weekend. Mind you the sound in there was absolutely banging. One two, one two. It does take quite loud noises to set it off but it's a cracking little build so it's an hour long I know but enjoy the video. It's largely surface mount there is a bit of uh, through hole work um, mostly the LEDs I believe LEDs and the battery holder and the power by the look of it the rest of it we do have a lovely chip surface mount so we'll drag solder that so without much more of ado we need to tin some of the pads so I won't do all the pad tinning on the screen got a lovely bit of a shine on there now there we go Let's see if I can that towards you a bit more there we go so what I'll do is I'll tin the pads that are mostly in view and then we'll just crack on and I'll build it or I'll tin the rest of the pads and then we'll build it I don't know if this is the solder I like I don't think it is actually never mind let's see how it goes so what I'm going to do is tin the pads further away like so get some heat on them there we are so we'll do one of the chip pads just so it has something to grip hold of Just a nice little bit of solder on these for the uh, surface parts. You can use um, solder paste, but I'd have to hunt the shed and dig it out. Might have to order some more soon. So here we go. Just a nice little blob of solder on each one. And we're pretty much off camera there. So oh, we've got two chips. Actually we've got three surface mount chips so we're really being treated on this. So again just tin the pads there. I'm going to slide this across. There we go. You can see the rest of the board. I'm going to kick Big Clive back into play. Listen carefully and you'll see Down the Shed gets a mention when he gets my name mixed up with Julian Islet. Hold on, let's bring in the sanitizer. I shall bring in my preferred certain auto grade uh, sanitization. Oh, that's definitely making the shirt pop. Uh, sanitization is in progress. Prepare to be sanitized. So it's a big live, live, old live stream. Uh, I can't I play yesterday's. It was a bit. Lost. Oh, it is. It's updating. It's, a, it's actually losing track. Not friendly for my sight, That's as far okay. as I'm concerned. It's glitching, but that might just be the receiving end. That is making the shirt really pop. That is. Okay, so I think that's. Recent, but then it is a work shirt, so it would be. Oh, we missed this chip here. So let's get that one tinned. Down the shed, I glad Jason, not Julian. Uh huh. <laughs> Jason from down the shed, who I keep mixing up. That's better, no more slug juice contamination. Oh, slugs, they tend to burst. I had a friend who is special to this is a primary school era. So there that is all the pads pre tinned on one side. Mm. Okay. Dan Allen says, My auntie told me that you're no local. So we're going to put R12, R11 on the board. This is not a good thing. They're both. No R4 to R12 and R23 are 360 ohms, which is a 361. To travel around the, say, the luggage collection conveyor belt, and they'd arrange things, they'd get a suitcase with holes cut in it so the kid could have his head out the top and his arms out the side. So we'll just mount the solder paste on the other side. Belt, and then the kid belt, and then the kid would get a big sticker that said, Jim fixed it for me. And Jim, the stuff he did, but after he died, it all came out, and it's like, oh. 
Zap Sparky says he got it where forgot to take his bike lock off before trying to leave once. Had to get the engineer to lop it off. Ah. Did it damage it? Sit in Jim's knee indeed. Right, so instead of doing it the way I suggested, I'm just going to use solder. Yeah. It makes me think of a co-worker, Gordon, in the past, who just every weekend was homer, work, unpaid work, because his family all... Oh, so, that's uh, the first two the parts on the board. Uh, right, so, I've got R11 and R12 on. The medical people will know more about that than I do. You will see those just a moment ago. I've got U2 chip already on. Unfortunately, when I recorded it, I was trying to record from here down, being a bit clever, and got in the way of the shot. Absolutely no video of the chip. So we've got two more to go on, so that's fine. That won't matter. Now we've got two, three, three, three resistors, surface mount. That's 33 and three zeros, so 33K. Uh, but uh, so we'll just heat, I've tried, heat this back up. My body in the mood for sleep. Oh. It will automatically. I don't even set the alarm. Oh, that's it good automatically it. wakes me up eight hours later uh, after it's had its appropriate time of sleep. Okay, we're we'll going to try a bit of left-handed soldering. Alan Bradley or Siemens? Alan Bradley probably. Mainly now, bearing in mind I'm a right-handed dude. Older stuff was a. Uh, I can do some things ambidextrous. It's when you wipe your ass backwards, I see. How would you even do that? What have you... I've not been thinking anything in my urethra. That's why I'm not sure what you have to say. A bit like that. Unexpected to see you like no. Keep asking, you two are not fun at all. Pay the pissing fire more like it. That was quite unpleasant. It seems to be a common thing, but I don't ever recall in one before, but now I have one. The antibiotics are interesting. It's, uh, it goes... It's a sort of slow-release antibiotic, but it goes straight into the, the sort of like the... Uh, so that's the, the first of the two of, uh, 33Ks. So that's R24. Any beard club vids coming? Uh, we, we the other one uh, I'll see what is... I've not seen them for a while. Dirty underpants. My underpants are in that place. Uh, da, 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 is R13. Yeah, lots of people have had them. That's weird. Which is... Stuart, uh, Curry, how did you meet the NBC guys? That's uh, the story of that. Yeah. A new of man, didn't know MB here. So let's get R13 so on. Uh, befriended him. This beard. Uh, we jokingly set up a, a beard club, but only one other person joined and it was Kevin. So uh, that was a... Uh, it's me, you and Kevin are the Max Beard Club. It's a sort of tongue-in-cheek thing because it, it was a disaster. Do you really need that much soda behind you? Yes, I do. But keep in mind that that huge roll of soda up there isn't as big as it looks because of the perception here. The depth perception. But it's still a big, big uh, soda. Is it from the radium? I don't think it's from the radium because I don't think that would cause you and the perception. But you know, it did go through my mind. So we'll just do the other side. What I will say is, earlier in the year, I had noticed that when I went, every time I went to the toilet, I could smell an eggy smell. And I looked it up online, it just said some foods change the smell of your piss. And uh, I was thinking, well, I've not been saying anything. There we go, so that's 233Ks, R13, and R24. Supreme Coalition, a lot of fat wall. No, it's not. Right, R23 is here. R4 to R12 and R23 are the 360 ohms, so 361. We've already done two of them, R11 and R12. So we'll liberate two at a time, because we don't want to lose any, even though I have got spares. So R23, I'm going to have to do left-handed, because I've soldered the wrong side of the board. It's a complicated thing when you could just get the strip and look at the band on it. So that's one side. Oh, human They snuck this one in on the end, so that's why I've slid that's it out of the holder a bit. That's something to look forward to one day. Mr. Singh says, any more MRE bids can we have a couple? There we go. Oh, so that's our 23 in. Very out of the British military. So I'll slide that back. There, which uh, I'll do with the Manx Beer Club at some point. So, uh, 4 to our 12. 
One energy beam stops a kidney stone. What? I'm not so sure about that, Dennis Smith. I don't know. Oh, given Seagull, no but time. Oh, you've actually said you've got off of it. Eat the shoulder. Slide the part in. Let's try that in a bit more, actually. Things. You could just basically, some suggest, and get things of food. Have you seen a resonator? I've not seen a resonator. Uh, that R4 done. We've got R5 and R6 here. What we'll do is turn this up now, or I'll leave it. So R5 and R6, so we'll liberate two more of these. Ah, Neil Williams, receiving my A4 PCB. Did you order five of them or just one? From GLC PCB, 13 days from ordering past week at home. That's not too bad. Here we go. People who have been ordering the circuit boards in different colors, like so I'm going to do these you can like change this. Them to resist to red or blue. They've been waiting a lot longer than the ones who have uh, chosen green because it's obvious that because green is the most common problem, problem the most common colour, they, they put more batteries through the green, so you're going to get your circuit boards faster. I wonder if uh, GLC has figured yet that the same style of circuit board is going to be repeated with. I do have a bunch of these reverse tweezers which stay shut until you squeeze them uh, open. But I have pinged so many surface mount parts across the room using them, I'm a bit sceptical about um, using them now. Is it the so we'll just do the other side of these two. Any that are based in force will gradually degrade, but the ones that are based in force are the most efficient. My favourite ultraviolet source, I suppose LEDs are better placed now, but my favourite up to the LEDs, not sure which is most efficient, is the four foot 36 watt. Fluorescent tube, they are the most efficient. They buy out so much. So we do R7 and R8 next. All right, that will be because of the people are traveling. People are traveling and not isolating. Much in the same way the UK has a. So this is an old flying saucer share that flying saucer live stream. Of Big Clive live, the one he had on Saturday night that I started watching became highly unsuitable for my channel videos. Oh, you! I will link Big Clive in the description. You do not have enough pink in that room, in this room. He is quite happy for me to have his videos on in the background while I do my videos. I have had them on before in the background. But out of common courtesy, I would suggest if you watch somebody else's videos, not only to get their permission, but to link in the description to them. It is only polite, it is only fair. I might see if uh, Matt, Techmoan and I think it's Nick at Technology Connections. I may see if they'll let me do the same with their videos. I'd rather have their permission before I do it than have them whinging at me. Just keep, there's a load of uh, acrylic pieces I keep just over here. I've got some spare ones from the last kit I did of this. That was a complete failure. But that's a whole other story. Right, so R9, R10, as I said we've done R11 and R12, so we should have two more of these, which we have. That's done with. Ralph was planning going to America next year, and I'm trying to talk him out of this, and the group of people is going with some biking event, because I don't think it's a good time to do that yet, I think we should hold off. He was just talking about his brother going to America for a bike event. I reckon that'll be Sturgis. That's R9. Oh, I'm called the right way, thank you. 
So R10. Three hundred and sixty-one. So this whole packet is actually about one hundred and eighty calories. Of so it's not that bad. They're low calorie sweets. It is. I think it's on the pads. So R ten. Five. I saw the never-ending lift the other day. I looked different from my imagined visa box. Was are you talking about a pattern or something? So that's all the. the Three sixty ohm parts done. So I'm just going to highlight them off the list so I know they're done. So we've got R4 to R12 and R23. R23 is here. R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9, R10, R11, and R12, and then R13 and R24. Ah, the 33K, so we'll mark them off. The right, so moving on. C1 here, C2 there, D1 there. So we'll put the diode in and then the two capacitors. So let's find the two caps, which will be those ones. So these are the two capacitors. So if we can... Get them on the camera and find the diode. He's in a little packet all of his own. No, that's not it. That's another resistor. There it is. So I might just do a quick search on the diode surface mount. I think the black stripe goes to the pointy arrow part, but I can't remember. And I was right. The black end goes to the pointy bit of the arrow. So the black stripe is the cathode, software, the, the negative. And the phone, the, the videos that start with that sort of phone noise when it starts, I think that's Iron's nearly up to there. temperature. Future videos. So. Mm. Sound is more boomy. I did notice that. I did a test earlier on. And it was bassier. Well, melt the solder. On. I don't think I can do anything about that because ultimately it's all locked in the firmware of the phone. Are you still doing Embrits too? Well, the Scotty boy, um, it's over for this year, but it didn't happen. Well, that doesn't play quite right, work quite right, does it? Next year, I hope it happens, but to be honest, it depends on the COVID situation. So I, do, I don't really know. Jägermeister. So that's the four, uh, the one end four one four eight diode on board. You can have a little screen there you go. just about to see it, yeah. You can so, the we'll get the two capacitors like liberated. And it's pre-filled with uh, red communion liquid. Uh, and a little wafer, and you peel the first tab off, and it's got your wafer, and then you peel the second tab, and then you can drink it. Bless you, well, my you've got fingers Indeed. the size of a bloody giant. These things are a pain in the ass, but it's half the fun. Challenge. So I don't have many spare capacitors, so we're going to try and not launch these halfway across the shed. So again, C1, melt the solder. Right, that's holding. So we'll solder the other side down and then re-solder the first side. So there are various viruses, like say for instance herpes. Uh, that once and AIDS, that once they're in your system, they you know they've got drugs that treat the symptoms. So that's the first stuff. cap on. But ultimately, um, there's no polarity on these. They, they're basically they surface mount ceramics. There's a horrible thought that because we don't fully really know what happens, because it's early days. And C2 goes next to that diode. The people that have been affected by it, it actually stayed in your system and caused other problems. And that's holding. Once you've taken the uh, iron away, just gently try pulling. If it doesn't want to come, then it's it's on. So again, solder that side, resolder this side. Coronaviruses aren't like that. All right, okay. Sneeze on us, oh great one. So that's the two capacitors, the diode. Right, R1 and R2 are both 4.7 k. So we'll just get R2 in. Uh, given that there's 365 possible days you could have a birthday on. 
and R1. That's one of the things I didn't like. Uh, Why can't I fool the right I way up? I didn't like about them. Um, remember it adds it to a list of your liked videos, which uh, is a bit annoying. It would be nice to be able to like it without... It wants to come across a bit as a bit skewy. Do inception dates count as birthdays? Yes, they do, in a way. There we go. So, we we'll solder the other two sides on. Tomorrow it's still a bit skewy, but it's good enough. Oh, right, okay. You're marginally younger than me then, same as Mars. I was born in 1965. Wait, that year's older than me. Andy Keith is shouting, Ralphie, Ralphie, Ralphie. Ralphie will oh, be yeah. electronic. 56, but the old life. You're knocking on old stuff. Give him a gin and tonic and then he can go and like drink himself into his sleep. Uh, there we go. That's R1 and R2 on the board. Whoa, careful there, old son. So we'll mark those off. That's done. So R3 is 100k. He still has his top hat from his funeral direction. Lisa Box says, Clive, why do those pinball games sound so So 100k be one. Well, the answer is because zero the huge wooden box, three. The speaker is only about that size. It's a, at best a six inch speaker. One zero four, it's sorry. But the one hundred and because it's so well sealed, that's three zero hundred k hundred thousand. They, and they also they played on that the speech samples. So these SMD parts, but then they were slowed down. So it the say, first two digits you know, are like basically. What, what would be the value and the uh, third the digit is how many zeros there are. So, if you have like a uh, 471, that's 47 and 10 zero, so 470 ohms. If it was 472, it would be 4700. So, R3 is over here. I'm going to have to turn the board around to orientate it for me. Yeah, it's dynamic because it continues. So R3 is here next to the cap and the diode. I designed it, and then right after that, the, I'd been getting the chips from Maplin, and they stopped stocking them. But now, later on, you can now buy those chips on eBay from China because they've got either clones or stock. So it's still possible to make those. So they still manufacture those cards based on that circuitry. No, Uncle Kim, I don't like funky music. So there we go, that's our three on the board. Right, we're going to do U1 next, which is an LM358. It's a tiny little bugger. I really need to turn this around. So give me a sec. I've propped it up on this... Uh, driving DBSA book of mine to try and bring it a bit closer to the camera because it really is a tiny little chip I mean you can see the tweezers in fact if I get a penny piece put a penny piece on the board and you can see size comparison so this really is a tiny little chip just about to see the dot which goes with the goal post as always so try and twist that back this way a bit oh nearly went so let's try and line it up think it easy I need to remove this a second. Okay, so the feet are good enough. So let's try and solder this one down. I'm going to use the other solder because I think it's better. I don't really want to end up messing around with this too much.
Right, it's our bridge stuck. So it's not a big deal. We'll try and drag it across. So we want a sucker. Working soldering tool. So these little ones are buggers. Just heat this up, suck it out, and we should be okay. Like so. Smaller tip on the iron wouldn't have hurt. Just a quick look. Okay, that's pretty good. There we go, so I'm going to try and do this side backwards. Clean the tip. Just tidy that one up a bit. You shouldn't really carry the solder, but because I'm doing it so close, it should be okay. So I'm going to try and It's probably as close as I can get in focus. So that chip is now securely on the board. There are no bridges. So I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, as you can probably hear, it's absolutely pissing down outside. Let's get the cloud going again. So we're now going to carry on with R14, 15, 16, 17, 80, 90, 20, 21, and 22. R14 and R22 are 4.7Ks. 472. 4,700 ohms. 4700. I've put a smaller tip on the eye. Uh, just basically have utter reckless disregard for time and space. What about the Siemens High Volts? I don't think they're hard, right? I wonder if I've got to keep this long here up in big viewers. So I'll just basically get these on in sections. Do three at a time. Ultimately, you'd use plastic cards these days, wouldn't you, for visual effects? Smartest guy in the universe. No, it's not a thing. And other things. Look at the distal shaft ten machine. So I'll do the other side of these three. Oh, that really is coming down. Probably see it on the window behind me. But they said don't need no more. Rotating discs with the material in the room. Interesting the brushes against them. These days I've used electronic uh, high voltage generators. If you want to know what I mean by that, check out my shed build One video. Says, How long you been Larry? Had a bit of fun it's getting their roof sorted out. The Two Larrys, Young Larry and Craggy Larry. Not I That's those three done. So at this point I'll probably do the others and fast forward the video. So I've got six more to go on. And then we've got the one remaining. I see. With a little cotton wad on top, uh sounds like Ralphie is back. So we just do these. No? Thanks for the bottle of the umbrella. Is the umbrella destroyed? Is that your fans? Yes, that's, that's technical family. Technical? Mm. Technical family. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> so, um, uh, the gin is through next to the kettle, right? Thank and you you'll know. find a bottle of fresh tea water uh, in the top of the bridge. Right? So, that's the last of the resistors on. So the only surface mount now is this one here. 
So we'll do that next and then I'll crack on with a quick bit of editing. I like to stop and edit, keep the two videos in perfect sync well, where I can. Can I, skip them? can I give a message to your fans? No. What is your message? Is it rude? No. Uh, uh, remembering the goalpost and the dot oh, okay. on the uh, chip. So I've already soldered this right, pad the in, the remember? There we go. Fair amount to drink, oh, but okay. as you can see, one of the skills of being not sober is to look like you are still sober. Uh -huh. So we we'll solder those legs down. I was going to drag solder so this one with oh, some flux, but I think we'll just see how we go one by one. So just say that you are a wonderful heat the pad and the pin. Bunch of people. Drag the uh, diverse, iron out. Diverse and um, egalitarian. Yeah. Good no, word for it. Egalitarian. Yeah. No. Okay. It means egalitarian means uh -huh. um, international, no. outward looking, well, okay, progressive. So we'll turn this round. Is this a straw? It's more likely to go. It's moist though. It's, it's more likely to go uh -huh. up in smoke because it's a straw hat, whereas the tweed hats uh -huh. made of wool. The tree hats are finishing really long. That's correct, yes. Because we'll, when's the last time you saw sheep in the fire? Good point. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to head off now because you've got technical people here who are here for technical stuff and they're not here to hear the disingenuous fish. Uh-huh. That used you as a Hey, it's quality, you know, you know. It's the obituary. 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 Would you like that? How did your how did your chance of flying saucers go? Uh, the flying saucers were good. We actually flew in the vehicle. That's very controversial. You're going to burn in hell. So that's that's the tree hat. Yeah. 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 That's the tree hat. Get this in position, there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to put the rest of the surface mount parts on now. So we'll start off with the mic. Uh, I'm guessing that's an adjustable resistor jobby type thing. Oop. So RP1 resistor whatever one little screw on here and there's a little screw symbol on there so this goes in like so and we'll stick a little bit of bluey on there just to hold it in place the microphone it's electric condenser microphone you can only get this on one way it does have um oh, you can see that little crow foot on there, well that's the negative, but it will only go on one way. Because the pins are offset, as are the legs. So that will go on there, bit of bluey. And the power jobby, we didn't actually get a lead with it, but I should have one or two of them knocking around somewhere for testing. And again, a bit of bluey. So we'll flick this over. And solder those down. So plenty of uh, solder on these power terminals. Don't be shy. Might put a bit more heat into it then. Right, that's that one. I'm going to wet this up on 360 or 375 just to, just to put a bit more heat into this uh, solder. 
There we go. The extraction fan doesn't really do as good a job as it used to when it was outside and in front of Mr. stuff, but <coughs> we'll have to come up with another extraction issue or plan. So this will be the electric mic. This will be the resistor jobby. This solder is pretty crap. I've got good solder and crap solder and this is the crap one. I reckon there must be a lack of flux or something in it. Bring that back down to 360. Or 355 even. But yeah, I really don't rate this one. The both of Amazon, just one's crap and one isn't. So let's snip the legs off. I want to use a bit more solder on it actually. of remaining blue tack off just by dabbing like so it's a good thing about the blue tack it sticks to itself quite well so all you have to do is dab away and it comes off so that's the three surface mount parts we've got the 10 leds now we have to decide where they're going to go because we've got they've given us a clear red a solid red four blue and three yellow so I'm going to find an IT picture, see what they've uh, done in the picture, and we'll go from there. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the forward voltage on these LEDs, or a couple of them anyway, and then I'm going to swap around. That's 1.89 volts on the red, the blue. So we've got the LED tester as normal. Two point seven six. Bang a yellow in. Two point oh four. We've got a clear red. The uh tester I'll put this one on the camera as you'll see oh, when I test this LED it actually flashes the LED as well so you can use it as an LED tester that's 1.9 now I've got a bang load of LEDs here so we've got clear blue That's yellow, clear yellow, 1.97, so that's okay. What else we got here? Clear white, clear green, green. Check what the clear green are. Oh, there's another flashing kit there, I didn't see that one. That's right. Got some UV ones as well. Straw hats. But they are 3 to 3.2 volts, so they're too high really. No, clear green's good, 2.51. Uh, now the confusing thing is, we go from LED 9 to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I think they have a red, a red, and then the yellows and the blues in the picture on IC station. Uh, I'm just going to pull that up actually and have a quick Ganji. Okay, we we'll have to go to my account. Okay, wait, 
Olga. Oh, come on. This, this was ordered on the 19th of the 9th, 2020. It arrived last week after four or five nasty emails. So eventually received my goods. Okay, so it looks like they've got the green, yellow, and then the blues in the picture there. So, we have no greens. I've forgotten what this one is now. Red. Clear red. So what I'm going to do is, because the, I can't remember what we called the full colour ones, condensed or whatever. That's a 2.23, didn't like the flash on that one. that's a 1.98 volts so that's acceptable so we'll have that one it's got a half decent flash on it 1.99 volts so we'll have those two so we'll go with green then the yellows and then the blues and we'll put the red at the top so I like that and the rest of the LEDs will go back in here and with the others Iron's hot, oh, iron's on the seat. I do like this seat mode on that. So we have a flat side, which is the negative, the short leg, and the pointy arrow goes to the negative. The arrow with the line. So we'll start off at the top here, short leg into the negative, and it should be a flat, there you go, there's a flat edge on the LED as well. So we'll do a couple of three at a time. I found a plug-in 5 volt adapter. Let's pull that out a bit. There we go. That was going to hold in nicely. Uh, yeah, I found a plug-in 5 volt adapter. So that'll basically provide the um, supply power because it's got the right plug end for the power connector here. We'll bung a couple of these in. And now as you see the LEDs are on this side of the board and yeah in the picture you can't see any components so yep all the components are on the back side of the board. So we've got them in the correct way. So we'll whack some bluey between these two. That one's going to hold itself in anyway. Now remember, solder one leg to start with. To make actually, I'm going to put a bit on there. Solder one leg to start with, and then if you're not happy with it, it's easier to remelt the solder on one leg and reposition the LED before soldering the other leg in. So we'll get this on camera to start with. Now this one's going to be the hardest to do because it's back to front for me. Oh, not back to front, but it's right up close to that flipping. Hold the block. There we go. So that's one. So I heat the pad. Oh, I did both anyway after telling you to do one leg at a time. So we'll do one on there. We'll do one on there. Twist it over. That's all good enough. So we'll do the other two legs. I 
and I'm not going to put all the furniture on until we've tested it. Like I say, if it doesn't work, there's no point carrying on. So that's the first three on. I wouldn't advise sniffing both at the same time, but it can be done. Like so. So. Sorry about the shine, but my car battery that I use for this shed light and this one is in the back of my car because I've been to the Revival Festival to help set up today. Uh, what are we doing? So we're going to go the red down here. No, we're not. We're going to go green, green, green. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, the Revival Festival in Shaftesbury, uh, Gillingham, or opposite the Shaftesbury, Gillingham, show ground at Turnpike. We've started setting that up today. We'll finish setting it up tomorrow and the festival actually kicks off tomorrow. So my best friend, I think I've mentioned before, he's had heart attacks recently. Uh, don't really want him lugging kit around. He can't move around a lot. His legs are shot. So even though we could have made room and got it into his trailer, I took his mobility scooter in my girlfriend's car because it's got a nice laid flat boot and a decent load space. It's a Toyota Yaris Verso, the estate version of the Yaris. It's an 03 plate and one, one, well there's a few good things about that car that I really like but the one amazing thing, the, the one amazing feature, the attention to detail that Toyota put into that car is the seats don't just fold up against the back uh, against the front seats like a normal car you can take the floor panels out and the seats fold into the floor and then you put the floor panels back so you get a complete flat load area absolutely amazing i love it does make it a good smuggling car but i'm sure customs and excise are pretty aware of the uh, opportunities present with the toyota yaris although it would make a uh, interesting booze trip I'm not suggesting smuggling, I'm suggesting just doing a booze trip, staying within your allowances and seeing whether they check it. So I'm sure they would. I mean, you've only got to figure out once and you're aware of the, uh, the possibilities. Now, of course, they can't check every car and probably not likely to but if they find you smuggling apart from the fact they can charge you for the tax or confiscate all your ill-gotten gains they can also seize your car and i don't think my missus would be really happy if i came back and told her i got a car seized ow that one hit me in the throat It's not just a case of having a car seized, she loves that car. So, I think I'll go with three yellow, because I've only pulled out two green. <coughs> we can always put another green one in. Although they did have a red one at the bottom. So, should we go with two green and four yellow, three blue and a red, or shall I? I should have gone with two red, really. Could desolder a blue out, and then I'd have to desolder a yellow out, and put a yellow in here. Ah, sod it. Let's get a green. Find a decent one. It's 
6.8 volt weak battery, 2.38, that's too high. That battery's been in there a year, it's a 9 volt battery. You can plug it into a 9 volt power source, but while it still does its job without arguments, I'm not going to mess with it. 1.99, there we go. That's the one for me. And I've probably said it in more than half a dozen videos. But this little uh, component tester is about 12 quid. I think you'll find it Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, flipping Banggood. AliExpress or Banggood's your best bets. Cracking build, great fun to build, but it really does make an excellent tool for your uh, workshop. You can't, well, yeah, I can't fault it. It always guesses, well, it doesn't guess. It always measures the correct values when I've uh, used it. I've tested it against, right, we'll come back to that one. I've tested it against uh, multimeters and it's absolutely spot on. In fact, I made two because I buggered up the case on the first one trying to modify it. I gave that one to my mate that I was talking about a minute ago. And he's, he's actually taking it out of the case. I don't know what he's intending to do, whether he's going to keep it out of the case or what. But, um, yeah, he sees the benefits of it. Right, this one's going to be a bugger to get to. So I'm going to do the one leg and then take it out. Like so. So. If I open this. Just push that up a bit. I can rest that on here. And I'll just solder the last one on there. It's going to be a pig. There we go. So we turn the iron off. Snip these last ones off. So the sensitivity of this is adjusted by this. Oh, another boy racer, squaddy probably. I call them squaddies because there are two types of military personnel. Tidworth has mostly squaddies. The British Army likes to think of them as professional soldiers. And the lot around here definitely ain't professional soldiers. Right, so that is done. Oh, that didn't go too well. I'll sort those out later. Oh, I've got to get Big Clive going. Let's get Big Clive back on. Uh, where's that power source? You can tell I don't really give a damn when I paint stuff around here because that power pack's half painted. Right, that's got a 5 volt output. I can quickly grab one of the available to hand component testers. Is that in voltage? That's in voltage. I just thought we could wear your top back Not necessary. No. Mm -hmm. You are quite sufficient in providing your own drama. Mm -hmm. 5.02. Happy days. Okay. Cheerio fans. <coughs> Enjoy your I don't know if the voltage is the correct way round. There's one way to find out. So I'll plug it in, see if we get any, turn that off, see if we get any, uh, this will not be necessary, I'm a very, very active footballer. Mm -hmm. Oh well, now this one actually works. Testing, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So this one actually works, the other one didn't. So I'm quite pleased about that. Oh, actually, yes, there is security. If you go around 
Happy days. So there we go. Let's turn the big light out. I'm uh, going to get over here that makes a noise. I can't tell the difference. Yes, I do have an Why is that not focusing? Do you have bump beds when Rob visits? No, there is actually, because of the situation that when we... There we were go, a bit of light helps among, focus. Sometimes we, we'd alternate uh, the duty of looking after her. Sometimes you Happy days, so... Uh, but she didn't like it. So what we ended up... I might try the, playing with the... Uh, uh, so, uh, I sensitivity at some point, but for the moment... Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So in the next part of the video, when I come back, we will build this. Uh, we'll build it with all the acrylic parts. They're pretty simple, really. Self-explanatory. Um, they are clear. So, quite simply, just peel off these bits of acrylic. Thank you. Both sides. Thank you. I'll, I'll only do one of these on camera because it's just too time consuming for you lot to sit and watch. I did see a video recently. So peel off the other it was side. One of the, uh, of easy and as you can see, we go from a sort of a milky off a bump head, and it, there were two clips, to a clear lens. It's two of the same room, and it's the same tall guy. So, I'll do the rest of those and, and then we'll put a couple on the board. Uh, yeah, they're, they're fiddly buggers. So, they slide on like so. And then you using the same method of the screw going into the acrylic and pulling the bolt tight. It will sit on like that. So, you found the tonic washer up here, Al. And that's the effect, but that's not the clear one. So, I'm going to stop, edit, and come back. Right, as you can see from uh, the close up here, I've already put nine of the ten acrylic pieces on. So, I've got some spares because I did break two. So, it was lucky I had that other kit to pull back on oh not so lucky that i didn't complete the other kit in a working environment but lucky that i buggered it up so i had some spare acrylic so what i found out i shall share with you is they may look quite central but they only go on one way so as you can see there are bleh, just about to see let's put that underneath the, that's not helping you can see there's like a little ladder sections so you slide that into the gaps and as you can see that slides on quite oh, get it back in the hole slides quite easily now, if we turn that round 90 or 180 degrees even, that will not slide over. And if you try to get it past that LED, you'll snap one of these little legs. So turn it round so it slides in, and then you'll have the correct side. So these are the tricky bits. You've got a, like a cross, a crucifix shape in here. So what we need to do is find our tub of parts find my little magnet now as I've showed in many videos involving these types of fixtures and the Chinese kits do love this kind of fixture the best way to do them is to take your magnet or a magnet I can't find my uh, telescopic car one I like to use for this sort of thing get your uh, nut like that and then slip your nut into the cross section of the crucifix like so. These are fiddly little sugars. And then line it up so it's roughly 
in place take your bolt and they might have screw heads but anything that goes into a nut is a bolt and then basically try and keep it aligned so the bolt screws into the nut like so so you might need to take a pair of pliers or a pair of tweezers to tighten it because you'll find that screw or that that nut will spin that one has gone in quite nicely so line the other side up roughly so take your magnet take your nut balance on the end of your magnet slide it into the cross member of the crucifix drop your bolt into place you can see through the hole as well you can't on here most likely but I can look down and see that's pretty much aligned so drop that in and the magnet will help and then just screw them down that doesn't feel like it's in so we'll have a look that's spinning that's fine so if that will hold we shall try and do is get the tweezers in there take a hold of it and try and get oops might, might have cross threaded slightly so there we go tighten it up and that's the last of them job done so the other nine are exactly the same as that some of them aren't quite level. I'll try and get something underneath here so you get a better idea. There we go. So what I'll do now is see if I can find my cable, which I've just spotted. I'll kill the light. We'll power this up. I'll plug this into the laptop to give us some power. And the laptop gone dead. Okay, the laptop's gone dead. That doesn't help much either. Uh, I know what I've got. Makes me bag of bits. I've got a power bank here, which has basically got an 18650 inside it. Came from a, it's got MTEC brakes on it, no affiliation. But I got it free at a car show a few years ago. So now, you get a much better effect. Boo! Let's tap it. You get a much better effect now. Through the uh, LED acrylic pieces. So it does look better that way. Now when adjusting it, if you turn the screw, if the screw's at the top, keep turning it clockwise and you might have to turn it 40, 50, 30 times. Keep turning it and you'll find it will, there we go, I'll give you a good idea of the uh, effect actually. So there you go. You can see the effect now. One, two. And that's the effect of all the, uh, all the panels. So it's quite a neat bit of kit. So once you're up here, you basically want to turn this back. Then you can get the screwdriver in the old again. Turn it back until they start dropping. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, testing, one, two, one, two, testing, mic one. I've been at a festival, not today. I didn't have a chance today because my phone died on me. I had to find a new phone and travel around the country looking for it. So there we have it. That's the spectrum analyzer from IC station. The link will be in the description, even though I'm carrying their logo on this video and link in, in the description, absolutely no affiliation to IC station. However, if you use the links that I provide for their homepage, 
I will get up to 8% commission, but that's only if you buy through the links. Anything you buy through that link, where I will get paid. Thank you very much, viewers. Um, but I've only had one order for it, so... Uh, if you'd like to buy some more stuff through my homepage link, please feel free. So, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry it's a little bit longer than I intended, but it is a tricky little build. Uh, surface mount parts always are. The first one of these I made was a failure. This one is a raven success. I'm completely happy with this. And I wish you all the best of luck if you buy one. That was about 15 quid, I think. £15.19. But, yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed with it. So, um... I shall see you in the next video.